Hello everybody and welcome to the island of the Dominican Republic and the city of Puerto Plata. This island actually has a lot of history from the past. It's believed that Christopher Columbus came here in 1492 and discovered this island. So Christopher Columbus was a Spanish explorer that went around in the Caribbean in the early 1500s and he's believed to be the first European to establish colonies on these islands. But before Christopher Columbus came, there were about 400,000 people called Tainos living here in the Dominican Republic. And they were the indigenous people. So what Christopher Columbus and his Spanish friends did was to enslave all the people, all the indigenous people. And over time, they died from diseases that the Europeans had brought. And also just from being enslaved. So Christopher Columbus is said to have discovered many of the islands here in the Caribbean. But what he actually did was go to the islands, take the indigenous people's land and kill them. And then establish his own Spanish colony. He sort of gets uh, credit for being an explorer and uh, discovering all these islands in the Caribbean. But that's, he was actually a bad man. They had sailed across the Atlantic Ocean from Spain to the second biggest island in the Caribbean. The east side of the island is the Dominican Republic and the west the country of Haiti. I was in the north part of the Dominican Republic and the city of Puerto Plata. I had started in the downtown area and would go all the way across the city to the tourist area known as Playa Dorada. So I met uh, an organization here, they clean up uh, the beaches and all the rubbish. He said that four years ago there was so much trash here that you could barely walk on the beach. But uh, you can tell a bit about your organization if you want. Yeah, my organization is Fundación Oceano Limpio. I met these guys just right now and I want to let you know how hard we was working for four years. Four years ago you cannot even work in here in that beach. So much trash, so much rubbish come from the town. But thank God I make it a step forward and then I show you people stop throwing rubbish, stop. We have to clean the ocean, we have to take about the tree, we have to take about the planet. It shouldn't be a stop now. And then thank God people follow me and I got so many people now try to help me to do uh, that job. And we are really, really following right now. I think his name was Johan, but he has an organization and they clean up trash. And apparently they have been doing a really good job here in the past years. I had started my 7 km or 4.5 miles journey across the city. The beaches here were really incredible and also on the inside you had the town area and a street going along the coast. This was the true sight of the Caribbean Sea with its iconic and amazing blue water. I could see that I had a long way to go but was really enjoying my time at this unbelievable location. There was no trash in sight, but also no people. I think they cleaned everything up. As he said, four years ago you could barely walk here on the beach, so that's a really good initiative that this organization is doing. Oh, it is hot today! Oof. The sweat is dripping. I was speaking to a guy over there and uh, there are so many trucks going by here and it says agua on all the trucks, so it's water trucks. I've seen more than 100, they just keep coming and coming and coming here on the street. The water trucks bring drinking water to different parts of the country. And he said they bring water to the rural areas here, so people can get drinking water. Apparently it's the government that's doing that, so that's really good. I just walked for a bit and I came up to a viewpoint here. It's so incredible actually, the beaches are really nice. Incredible. Blue water, the sun is also shining. 
I had walked for a bit and learned that many of the shorelines in the Dominican Republic are preserved, and here you did not see any buildings right on the beach, which allowed for some great scenery. Behind the town area there were some mountains, and the highest mountain in the Caribbean is actually in the Dominican Republic. The name is Pico Duarte, and it stands 3,000 meters tall. 10,000 feet. so nice, I can't believe it actually. The water is perfect, really nice temperature and also incredible scenery. Here we have Playa Acapulco, also one of the really incredible beaches. Actually I'm, I've been really surprised about how nice the beaches are here. The water is crystal clear, it's all green and palm trees, perfect. So I was speaking to a guy over here from the US, he was from Florida and he uh, said they came here on a cruise ship, they stopped uh, further down uh, that you can see in my previous video, I filmed the big cruise ship um, and then they go here uh, for the day and hang out here during the day and then they get back on the cruise ship and continue, I think uh, they continued the trip around in the Caribbean. I had almost made it out of the town area in the west part of town and had just a bit further to go in order to reach the touristy area of Playa Dorada. The further east I came along my walk, the more expats and tourists I seemed to be seeing. Along the whole beach here there seems to be restaurants. I've been walking and passing by just one after another, which is quite nice. Here's the beach again. I've stopped at so many nice beaches already, but I think the old part of town is over there, so I'm gonna show that towards the end of this video. Uh, Centro Historico. And I'm thinking that there should be another part of town coming up here. This is Emindra, right? Yeah. He works at Chiringuito restaurant. It's a really nice restaurant here by the beach. Yeah, it's a good food here. What it's kind of food do you have? You have um, say fresh fish. Fresh fish. Baby lobster, lobster, chicken, everything. Philip, yeah, I have everything here. Okay, Piña I will come back. Piña colada in the pineapple. Piña colada. Yeah, okay. coco loco in the coconut. It's really good. Okay. Yeah. I will come back. I'll go for a walk and then I come back. Please. All right. I was speaking to a Canadian guy over there, and he said that um, this area where I am now, they have some condos and stuff here. Some expats live here. Canada, United States, and I can see some here. It looks pretty nice quite cool everything's green also and really tall trees and the guy uh, from Canada I was speaking to he was also the owner of this bar here I have a long ways to go to get to the next section of this town and I think that's where most of the hotels will be here there is nobody here we have quite a lot of tourists and uh, I'm starting to see some hotels here again and uh, yeah, it seems like Americans and Canadians is what I'm hearing when people speak. I walked for a bit, passed by some resorts and uh, I will continue my walk out to the end over here. There's supposed to be a um, mall, shopping mall there. Oh, I had to cross the river. The water was so cold and refreshing. I walked out from the beach a bit and uh, here you have some apartments it looks like and condos but I don't think there's much of a town area here I have been walking forever but I've almost made it now to the end here and there's a shopping mall so I'm gonna try to go into the shopping mall right there here is a golf course 
and some condos, beach condos right there. I had arrived to Playa Dorada, located just three and a half miles or six kilometers from the Puerto Plata International Airport. There are a lot of modern apartment complexes being built here and this area will probably grow really quickly in the coming years since there are more and more direct flights going here from Canada and the United States. Affordable properties in amazing locations always cause a surge in tourism. In the past 30 minutes of walking, I had not seen any restaurants, except for hotel restaurants, but they would not let me buy food there, so I was about to get my own food from the palm tree. If you have the right technique, it's quite easy to get all the way up to the top and grab some coconuts. If you want to get a coconut, you have to grab the tree with the bottom of your feet, like this. And then you use your hands to pull yourself up. I'm sitting up in the tree. Ah, pretty far up, look. It must be like 30 feet. I'm gonna get a coconut. Now we just have to open it, but I think it cracked open a bit when it fa fell. I just have to open it more. Mm. Ah. But it's quite easy to climb a coconut tree actually if you have the right technique. You have to make sure you put your knees out, like as far out as you can. And then the weight is distributed to your feet instead. <laughs> because the more you push your knees out, the more grip you get. Ottawa, Montreal, Yeah. I'll come down here. Okay. At west, they go to Mexico. Ah, okay. Because it's distance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? It's a bit further. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, like, yeah. people on the west coast of Canada yeah. don't come here. Oh. It's too far to fly. Yeah, it's quite far, actually. Well, for us, it's only four hours. I think this is the end of my beach excursion here. I'm just gonna pass by the mall and then try to get an Uber back to uh, Centro Historico. I think that's where I'm staying. That's like uh, the old part of town and I'm also gonna try to show you just a little bit of that before we finish this video. Playa Dorada in the east part of town was by far the best location. When I had first arrived, I didn't know anything about the city of Puerto Plata. And now I was on my way back to the downtown area in the old part of town in the west. I came out a bit of the beach and here is uh, the golf course, San Marino Beach Residences and there should be uh, a shopping mall here, Playa Dorada shopping mall. Looks quite nice here, makes me want to play golf actually. It's been a long time ago since I played golf. I'm taking an Uber home, I didn't realize how long it was going to take. Hola. Hola. I'm waiting for this car here. I took an Uber back to the actual town area in the west part. And in conclusion it seemed like the more east I had gone during my journey, the more new and modern houses I had seen. But now I will show you the actual town area and the old part of town marked in red. I took an Uber back to Dynasty Hotel. It took forever. I can't believe how far I walked. It was like a 15 minute pretty quick drive. But I'm back, Dynasty Hotel. Look at these houses here. It's quite cool actually. This was the old part of town that was built as early as the 1500s by the Spanish colonizers. Let's go to the grocery store now so I can have some snacks at least. I did find one grocery store here. <laughs> here is the grocery store. This kind of looks like Merida, a city in Mexico also from the 1500s. 
I walked into what I thought was a grocery store, but it turned out that there was only a bit of snacks in here, and mostly stuff that you could not eat. Toys, but where is the food? This looks like many places in Mexico actually, it's similar. I can't find either a restaurant or a store where they have something. The first store I went to they had uh, almonds, the rest was like um, just stuff, nothing you could eat. And uh, they have some coffee shops. I found a place and got a menu where the actual prices for things were specified. I came out of the <coughs> restaurant, I had a hamburger, fries and coca-cola and it was uh, 580 pesos, so that's um, almost 13 US dollars and I've been thinking about these kind of things when I go to different countries like the amount of money that people make, it doesn't make sense if you compare it to what you can buy in that country like, I don't know what the minimum wage is here, but like it doesn't make sense um, how expensive sometimes things are. I got information from a legit website called minimumwage.org where it states that sugarcane workers make about 150 pesos per day for 8 hours of work or 3000 pesos per month. That's $55 per month and means they would have to work 5 full days to afford the hamburger I had just bought. I came back to the hotel after I had my hamburger. And I would like to say a big thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos, then please subscribe so you can see the next one. And also, thanks again for watching. If you liked it, please leave it a thumbs up. You can post a comment if you want. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. So see you next time. See you next time. I'm gonna pack my bag here, maybe tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, and um, head a bit further east along the coast here.